I believe it's 313, daily reading 313. And I'm going to be reading out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. Simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life by Richard Carlson, PhD. Okay, this one's number 64. Practice being in the eye of the storm. The eye of the storm is that one specific spot in the center of a twister, hurricane, or tornado that is calm, almost isolated from the frenzy of activity. Everything around the center is violent and turbulent, but the center remains peaceful. How nice it would be if we too could be calm and serene in the midst of chaos in the eye of the storm. Surprisingly enough, it's much easier that you than you might imagine. It says that in the book. So I want to read that sentence again using the correct word again. Surprisingly enough, it's much easier than you might imagine to be in the eye of a human storm. What it takes is intention and practice. Suppose, for example, that you are going to a family gathering that is going to be chaotic. You can tell yourself that you are going to use the experience as an opportunity to remain calm. You can commit to being the one person in the room who is going to be an example of peace. You can practice breathing. You can practice listening. You can let others be right and enjoy the glory. The point is you can do it if you set your mind to it. By starting out with harmless scenarios like family gatherings, cocktail parties, and birthday parties for children, you can build a track record and enjoy some success. You'll notice that by being in the eye of the storm, you will be more present moment oriented. You'll enjoy yourself more than ever before. Once you have mastered harmless circumstances like these, you can practice on more difficult areas of life, dealing with conflict, hardship, or grief. If you start slowly, have some success, and keep practicing, pretty soon you will know how to live in the eye of the storm. <laughs> so that being said for some of us we are always the ones creating the chaos and magnifying the storm and then there are others who just sit by and get walked all over and you don't want to be that type of person either because you're just teaching people how to treat you. So if you allow them to always walk over you and not speak up, then that's what they will always do. So you have to maintain a balance in this. Um, that's a good lesson that I shared for people who are always like being riled up in situations and allowing situations to rile them up or rile you up if it's you. But if you're the person who kind of always sits back and doesn't say anything and feels like you're getting walked all over, then you also do not want to remain being that type of person. Um, so anyway, I hope that made some sense. Um, I'm sending out love, light, and healing energy. I ask that you pay it forward and pass it on. And until tomorrow, peace. Enjoy the rest of your day, y'all.